Hello, what's up guys? Today it's a guide for ChatGPT. I wanted to show you one of the prompts that got me more than 300,000 impressions on LinkedIn. And I wanted to, know, to show you how to use it. I use it to learn things and to have a program on how to learn that thing. Because when you learn something, there is a learning curve and maybe I can actually show you the learning curve. Uh, by the way, I know my, LinkedIn, my YouTube video should be better. It's gonna get there, trust me, trust the process. For now, I'm just me with my two hands, but I'm, I'm getting a team to make it better. So you see, in the beginning, you have a slow beginning, then a sleep acceleration, then plateau, and, and it's quite hard to actually go above that plateau. So I made a prompt to actually know how to go above that one. So what I would suggest you to do is first to have ChatGPT Plus, so you can get custom instruction. I'm gonna enable it, and here, I'm gonna create the prompt with you, okay? So at first you need to show, you need to explain who you are. So here I'm gonna uh, pretend I am me, Ruben, but I wanna learn how to code on Python because Python is overused uh, in generative AI. So I am a content creator around generative AI, uh, uh, AI like ChatGPT. I want to learn Python in the best, fastest, and most entertaining fashion. Entertaining fashion. You will help me succeed by building a, a learning program. Okay, put as much context as possible. Like, what's your level? What do you know? Oh, yeah. Um, right now, I know nothing about coding. And that's it. But you could put more context, and I would advise you to do it. Uh, you have 1,500 1, characters, and I just used 230. Um, you are... You are... Then you have to explain how ChatGPT needs to answer. You are an expert at creating a, a, a program for beginners. Beginners, Jesus, <laughs> I'm sorry. Beginners to learn how to code. You make sure everyone's on board. You gamify, I like gamifying. You gamify the process. Okay, that's a small custom instruction. I could have made it slightly better, but my prompt is here. Um, so act like an ed educational researcher speci specializing in skill acquisition and dynamics. Um, based on your expertise, you will create a learning curve for coding on Python, and you'll make sure that we hit those critical stage and the how. Uh, uh, focus on the how. I should start uh, mastering coding on Python. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, is there any? Yes. So you can see the custom instruction right here. It's here. Who am I? How is ChatGPT? And this is my first prompt. Why is custom instruction so interesting? It's because it's outside of the prompt, so it will never forget that context, even if you go beyond the token limit. And that's key, that's really key. So here, hypothetical learning curve, you have stage one introduction, week one and two, week, week one and two, you need to acquire this, week three and six, week seven and 12, week 13 and 26. It's gonna be a focus on what you should learn and how you should learn it. Uh, external factor influencing speed or progression, Methodo methodologies to smoothen the curve, okay, transition strategies. Once that this is done, it was less for me but more for ChatGPT to understand what's going on. Create a, a weekly program for me to go from beginner to mastering Python. Be as specific as possible. Mention resources, websites, 
best practices, everything. And let's go. Let's get the weekly program on how to learn Python. Introduction. You even have Monday to Wednesday. That's a good one. You even say where you should get it. Um, the task. Uh, the best practice. Um, I mean, that's cool. That's super cool. I could have said the same for learning how to uh, um, play the guitar or how to, um, I don't know, create a wooden stick. I think I've watched too much of The Lord of the Rings with Gandalf. <laughs> but um, I like what I like the most is the advanced mastery. This is where you get to the real deal. Um, and look, you can be... Uh, be much more precise on the advanced mastery. If you need more precision, you can always ask it. And since you have custom instruction on, it will never forget the context. So here you see it's getting much more um, precise. It's even like day by day. And yes, we work on Sunday, guys. <laughs> advanced libraries, okay. I'd like to know if it, if it actually exists. Usually it does, but you always have to check. Uh, if I do this, is there this course on Coursera? Applied Data Science with Python? I think it exists, yeah. Applied Data Science with Python specialization. So it exists. 386,000 people enrolled. So it's probably, and it's for free. Wait, what? That's interesting. Uh, maybe you can enroll for free, but then you have to pay. But it's interesting. He, it knows where you should get the learning, or at least one of it. And then how to learn it. Uh, awesome. And you can even go like uh, beyond, I guess. Um, because um, how can we go? What are the next steps after that? And that's where you get like this kind of like assistant slash teacher that knows exactly what you know how to do and what you don't know how to do. Like, let's take one thing that you don't know how to do. Um, I have a hard time learning create a four week program to master it. Make it as precise as possible. So, first, we've seen some next steps once we become master. But what if we go back in time and we're like, you know what? The web framework like Flask and Django, I don't know how to do it. And here it is, four-week program to master Flask and Django. Um, so, that's about it. That's one way to actually learn anything using ChatGPT. There is a problem still. What if you want to learn ChatGPT? Is it possible? The problem is ChatGPT uh, data goes up until the September 2021. So Python, you can do it, but ChatGPT, you cannot do it. So I wouldn't advise to learn things that are past September 2021. Um, Wow, he's really going through the weeks. You even have exercise, best practice, and even remember that you want to do it for generative AI, and you should probably go on GitHub, which is, yes, I mean, you should probably do that. CRUD, I mean, I don't know what even what's this. But that's key. Uh, now you can have a personal teacher for anything you'd like to learn. All right, guys, I'll catch you soon. That was a quick video as well. But um, I'm going to read all of the comments, especially the one that says that precise what you'd like to see in the future on our channel. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.